In today's video, I'm going to give you a full beginner's guide to the powerful contact form builder Shopify app. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is go to the link in the description and it should take you to this page here. Once you've done that, click on this button here, which says install. And then from there, you want to go ahead and click on the install button again, and it should install it to your Shopify store. So now that we've done that, we should be ready to go. So now that we've done that, we want to go ahead into the app and we want to go to the quick setup guide. And the first thing we want to do is embed the app into our theme. So click enable app embed here. And this should open up your Shopify store. And from there, you need to go to the left hand side. And you want to go to embed app embeds and you want to turn it on. It's called Globo Form Builder. So make sure it's turned on here. And then go ahead and click save. Now we can go back into the app here and just refresh it and it should verify that it's been installed and you can see there there's now a check mark on it so the next thing we want to go ahead and do is actually create our form and to do that we can just click this button here that says create form and first of all we're going to have to select a template so there's a tons of different templates here depending on what you want um, you can go on to your different categories you've got pop-up booking order survey warranty wholesale third party we've got tons that we can look at so go through and find the one you want. So I'm just going to select this one here, which is booking an appointment. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and start using the builder. So the builder is pretty simple. It looks exactly like the Shopify builder. And it's going to start off with page one. Here you can change the, the label, the description, the icon. And then here we're going to have our fields here, such as first name. And you can see this is called label here. We can change the label here to name. And it's going to go ahead and change it on the page here. We've got the placeholder, which is this part here. The description we can put, which will go underneath the label. So put your name, for example. You can limit the characters. You can hide it. Uh, you can turn it on required or not. And you can select an icon for it as well. You can also do column width if you want it on one line. Or you can do 50%. And you can finally add some custom CSS if you would like to. So using the builder itself is very easy. You just go through and you can just change each of these. They basically have the same layout of everything. Some may have slightly different ones. And then what you can go ahead and do here is you can click add element. And on add, add element, you're going to have all of the different elements that we've got here. Ranging from email to country. You've got image, op image options, checkboxes, dates, HTML. All of that kind of stuff. Now you can see these ones here with the star on them. They're actually uh, paid, so you need to pay for those. But I'll talk more about that later. So we can go ahead and add a page. And the page is going to be the next part of it. So page one will be this bit. And if you go onto page two, it's going to be the next part. And for that, we can go ahead and do the same thing. We can add, you know, whatever we want to. And then if we look here, when someone presses next, they'll have to fill it in. And it will go to the second page. Um, just like that. We can go ahead at the top and view it on mobile and desktop. And we can also translate the language if we want to. The next thing we've got here is we've got the mail bit. So we've got the email it's going to come from. We've got the subject line it sends to you. You have some dynamic variables that you can copy. And this basically will just be an email that will send to you once you've put your once someone submitted a form. So you can change this a bit if you'd like to. Then we can go back and we can go um, back to mail and we've got autoresponder. So this here is going to be the email that sends to people who go ahead and fill in the form. So we can have a subject line here. We can add some dynamic variables if we want to. So a dynamic variable will change based upon the user's inputs. So for example, if we put a name in here. It would say, thank you for submitting form and it would put their name in. Um, just like that basically you've also got them down here uh, that you can just click on and it will copy them basically now we have the contents of the email and you can go ahead and just click on this you can change it by typing in you can go ahead and change the size based upon these here and you've got just loads of different editing bits here you can insert tables you can format it you've got tools all of that kind of stuff and this will get sent to the customer. So maybe you want to say thank you, we'll get back to you in a few days, that kind of thing. 
Next up, we have the appearance here. So you can change the appearance of your form. You can make it, you can change the layout starting off with default, boxed, floating, or you can have a pop up here just like that. And each different one has different settings. So, you know, select it and then you can change the settings once you've done that. You can change the colors, the width, all of that kind of stuff. We've got the after submit bit here. So after they submit it, you can either send them to a message or you can go ahead and redirect them to a new page and you just put the URL in there. Or you can just hide the form and then have a thank you message as well. Like that's really up to you. We've got settings here, so you can require login if you want to. And we've got an error message in case something goes wrong. You can change the error message for each different element. Now next up we have the integrations here and these are basically apps and things like that that integrate directly into your form. Now most of these are on the premium plan but the one you can use for free is the capture and this basically means that people can't spam your form so I'd recommend turning that on. You've got other things here like your Facebook pixel, you've got your email providers, you've got your things like Google Sheets so you can put it all into one uh, easy to read form sort of thing. And you basically link all of these up so automatically fill into these once someone fills it in. So these are really useful, um, just way of keeping everything all in one place. We can go ahead now and click save. And then once we've saved it, we can go ahead and publish it. And we should go ahead and publish it to our store and we can select which page we want it on. Or we can go ahead and take this custom code here and paste it into a embed section on our website. So when you do go ahead and get some submissions, you can go to this box here that says submissions and this will show you all of the different entries. You can click into them and see what they've put. You've also got your customers here. So this is going to be people who have basically filled in your form. And then we've got the other settings here, such as customer sync and customer requests, that kind of thing. Now lastly, we've got the pricing plans. So we've got, um, the basic plan which is free and then we've got premium which is 9.99 a month and uh, that basically gives you up to 1k submissions and then you have the pro plan which is $20 a month or 99 um, which gives you 10k submissions and these all have a seven day free trial now if you go down below the video there should be a discount code or if you use the link it should give you some kind of discount on the app but that is basically how you go about using it if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to go down below and like and subscribe and also comment that the video did help you out so other people can watch the same video and get the same advice. And if you have any other videos that you'd like us to make or any questions about this one specifically, then you can go ahead and leave that down below and we'll do our best to make that.